Hello and welcome to Philosophy 5, the channel where we discuss and debate different philosophical ideas. Today we're going to be looking into a very interesting thought experiment called the Ship of Theseus. Lovely. Now, the Ship of Theseus is a puzzle focusing on the metaphysics of identity. So looking at the identity of objects. If an object has some parts replaced, is it fundamentally still the same object? I see. The earliest example was given by Plutarch in the 1st century AD. Plutarch asked us to imagine Theseus returning to Athens on a ship after slaying the Minotaur. As this was such an amazing event, the ship that Theseus sailed back on was kept in a museum. So this is the ship of Theseus. Right. However, when the ship was being delivered, a plank was damaged. So the museum managers took off the damaged plank and replaced it with a new one. So I ask you, is this still the ship of Theseus? Well, yes. Even with a plank replaced? Yes. Changing one plank does not mean it's a different ship. Right, okay. Well, let's say every now and again other planks need changing. This ship is going to be in a museum for thousands of years. Every now and again certain planks might decay or break and generally need replacing. So you and I, today we go to see the ship of Theseus. But over thousands of years, every original plank has eventually been replaced. We are looking at the ship of Theseus, but in fact, not one original plank remains. Every part of the ship is a refurbished part and a replaced part. Is this still the ship of Theseus? So now I would have to say no, it is not. What makes you say that? Because it does not have any original parts. It cannot be the ship of Theseus if every part of the ship of Theseus has been replaced. Interesting. So then I ask you, at what point did this ship stop being the ship of Theseus and start being a different ship? What do you mean? When I asked you if changing one plank meant it was no longer the ship of Theseus, you said you did not agree with that. Right. However, now you were saying that if all planks are changed, then it does stop being the ship of Theseus. Yes. So at what point does it cease to be the ship of Theseus? Over many years, a part here and a part there were being replaced. At what part did it stop being the ship of Theseus? Ah, uh, okay, I see the problem. If the identity of the ship can survive one plank change, and let's say one plank is changed a year, then year one, it is still the ship of Theseus. Then on year two, another plank is changed and it's still the ship of Theseus. And the same for year three and year four and year five. And eventually, 2000 years have gone by and all the planks have changed. This is still the ship of Theseus, even though it does not share any of the same parts as the original ship of Theseus. Exactly. Now, philosophers have pondered this problem a lot. Thomas Hobbes, however, complicated it even further. He asked us to imagine that while the parts of the ship of Theseus were being replaced, people in the museum decided to keep the original parts and preserve them. Eventually, after many years, when all the original parts had been replaced on the ship, the people in the museum put all the original parts back together and built it into another ship. So then, which is the ship of Theseus? Hmm, that is a very interesting addition. So now we have two ships of Theseus, one that has changed slowly over time and one with the original parts. Yes, so the refurbished ship still has claim to the identity of the ship of Theseus. But now we also have the ship of Theseus with all the original parts. How can this not also be the ship of Theseus? And how can we now have two ships of Theseus if Theseus only ever had one ship? It's a complicated puzzle. Yes, because we have conflicting principles. On the one hand, we have principle A. We think that objects can survive change and still retain their identity and be the same object. If a button falls off my shirt and I sew another one on, it is still the same shirt. We wouldn't really say it has lost its identity and is no longer the same shirt and has become another shirt. Of course. But on the other hand, we have principle B, that an object is its parts and an object is where its parts are. So if I had a broom and I took off the head and the stick and threw them away, then someone found the head and the stick and put it back together 
you would still say that it's the same broom. Yes. So, if we follow principle A, we would have to say that the ship of Theseus with the replaced planks is the real ship of Theseus. But if we follow principle B, we would have to say that the second ship of Theseus with the original parts is the real ship of Theseus. If we follow both A and B, we would have to say that there are two ships of Theseus, even though we know there is only one. So here is the conflict of principles and the paradox of the ship of Theseus. This can be solved if we just drop one of the principles. Which one? Let's say we drop principle B and just follow principle A. We say an object can still be an object without its original parts. So then you would say that the refurbished ship is the ship of Theseus and deny that the second ship is the real ship even though it has all its original parts. Well, no, okay. Well then, let's drop principle A and just follow principle B. We say that if an object changes, it stops being that object and becomes another object. So if an object changes, it loses its original identity and adopts a new one. But this gets a bit strange. So even with the slightest change, it would become a different ship. So really, if over the years 2,000 planks have been replaced, then we've actually had 2,000 ships in the museum as each change means it's a new ship. Okay, what if we do not drop principle A completely, but say an object can survive its identity through some change, but not all change? So one or two planks means it's still the same ship, but all planks means it's not. Yes, but this raises the problem I mentioned earlier. At what point does the ship stop becoming the ship of Theseus? This seems arbitrary. You could say removing 1002 planks means it loses its identity and it stops being the ship of Theseus. But why does removing plank 1002 destroy the ship, but not plank 1001? And for the people collecting the original planks, does it mean when they put plank 1002 into the ship, it suddenly becomes the ship of Theseus again? Yes, I see the problem. Well, this certainly is an interesting paradox. Yes, it is. But that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the vibe. And what are your thoughts on the ship of Theseus? When do you think an object loses its identity? What is your criteria? And why have you reached that point? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye bye.